So let me continue with my third example. We have been considering the quotient of uh, the polynomial ring over k by the ideal generated by an irreducible polynomial p. And we have seen that this is a field. I would like to say the same thing in a slightly more sophisticated language, but it amounts to the same. Instead of writing down the uh, Bizum equality, uh, one can also say that an ideal generated by an irreducible element of k of x is a maximal ideal. And the quotient by a maximal ideal is always a field. So alternatively, one can say that p is a maximal ideal of k of x and the quotient overing by a maximal ideal is a field. Uh, but, of course, the proof of this amounts to the same besoin equality. How do you prove that p is a maximal ideal? You just consider some potentially bigger ideal, that is to say, containing p and some element q not belonging to the ideal generated by p, this q is going to be prime with p, so you can write the Bezu equality and it is in this way that you see that such an ideal will be necessarily equal to the polynomial ring k of x. Okay, so this is an extension of k in an obvious way. Maybe here it's even better to say that it's an extension of k because it's a k-algebra. It's a k-algebra. Hence, an extension of k And uh, let me give you a, a more concrete example. Let's take k equal to the field of two elements. So z by 2z, it consists of 0 and 1, and 1 plus 1 is 0. Let us take p equal to x squared plus x plus 1. So this is an irreducible polynomial over f2. Then k of x modulo p is a field of four elements. It contains 0, 1, the class of x modulo p, let me denote it by x bar, and the class of x plus 1 modulo p, let me denote it by x plus 1 bar. And you see that x bar squared is equal to minus x minus 1. Since you know that x squared plus x plus 1 is 0 in our field, well, the characteristics is 2, so minus 1 is the same thing as 1, so it's just x plus 1 bar. In the same way, x plus 1 squared is x bar, and they are inverse of each other, x squared times x plus, uh, sorry, x bar times x plus 1 bar is 1. So, this is the structure of a field of four elements. The cardinality of k is 4, 
one right so then k equal to f4 well this might be strange at the first sight because we only know that k has four elements and if you write f4 it somehow um, you somehow mean that there is only one field of four elements well it is true there is only one field of four elements in fact all finite fields of the same cardinality are isomorphic and we will see it very shortly okay now let me talk about algebraic elements So I have a field extension, k in L, and I take alpha in L. I say that alpha is algebraic if I can find some polynomial, if there exists a P in k of x such that P of alpha is zero. Otherwise, I say that alpha is transcendental. Alpha is transcendental. So this is a definition, of course. <clears throat> well, let me give you a lemma. So if alpha is algebraic, then there exists a unique unitary polynomial of minimal degree with this property. Such a polynomial is irreducible. Any other polynomial with this property is divisible by P. Any Q, so let me call this unitary polynomial P, any Q such that Q of alpha is zero, is divisible by p. One calls p the minimal polynomial of alpha over k. Such yeah, p is called the minimal polynomial of alpha over k. So the proof of the lemma is very simple, of course. It is a direct consequence of definitions. Well, let me say it in sophisticated terms. We know that k of x, the polynomial ring in one variable, is a principal idea of domain. And the polynomials vanishing in alpha certainly form an ideal. So, this ideal is generated by one element. Let me denote this set by i. So, i has a generator p. Hmm. 
And this is certainly a unique up to a constant element of minimal degree in I. P is unique up to a constant element of minimal degree in I. Furthermore, if P was not irreducible, if P is Q times R, then P of alpha is Q of alpha times R of alpha. So Q of alpha or R of alpha must be zero, which is a contradiction with the minimality of the degree. Then Q of alpha is zero or R of alpha is zero. And this contradicts the minimality of the degree. Uh, if you are not familiar with the fact that the polynomial ring in one variable over a field is a principal ideal domain, you are strongly encouraged to learn this. Uh, this is a very simple fact. It is a consequence of uh, Euclidean division, and uh, this time I will not give any more details on this.